2013, I'd ask everyone in the audience to please stand for a prayer led by Councilman Greg Stokes, and then we will have our Pledge of Allegiance led by the Scouts of PAC 819, 819 Thompsonville. So gentlemen, the six of you come out right here in front of, um, of the dais. Councilman Stokes will give the, uh, will give the prayer. And then once the prayer is over, we'll have you lead us in the pledge, okay? All right. Okay, before I give the prayer this evening, I just want to bring to our attention that uh, the last week or so we lost a wonderful resident, Bob Berger. And uh, if you read anything about him, you know that he was involved so much in our community. Uh, he served in different elected offices. He was a World War II veteran with Medal of Honor and, uh, and with the Purple Heart, served as a Rotarian with some of us here. So just want to make sure we remember him this evening also and his family and also for his dedication to our community. So let us pray. Dear Lord, as we begin a new year, we ask for your guidance. Guidance to make decisions for the betterment of our community. Guidance, guidance to learn to disagree agreeably. Guidance to put the welfare of our town ahead of our own personal welfare. And last of all, guidance to see the big picture in every little decision we make. May you bless our town, all its citizens, keep us safe, provide for our needs, and let us be thankful for everything and every blessing. Amen. 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 Okay. Start us off. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, um, before the pack <clears throat> leaves for the audience, I'm going to hand this microphone over to Jason Lee, and you're going to tell us some quick uh, information about your pack and the things that you're doing uh, in the community. And then look straight at the camera. Or do you have a spokesman here that you would rather have speak? No, no. Boy no. Scout. <laughs> Scout. Here you go, Jason. Tell us some of the, the good work you're doing in town. Oh, I'm Jason Lee uh, from PAC 819, as you all know. Um, what am I supposed to say? How many members do you have in your pack? Um, we're missing one today. So you're seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven of us, yes. You meet. Uh, we meet normally at our leader's house See, oh, at St. Patrick's Church. Any specific day? So if. Uh, uh, Tuesdays, once a month. At what time? Uh, 6.30. 6.30. So if there are uh, boys between the ages of what? Uh, 8 to 12. 8 to 12 that would like to join uh, PAC 819. They could go to St. Patrick's on mm -hmm. Tuesdays. Is it a first Tuesday, fourth Tuesday? <laughs> no. The first Tuesday of the month. Anything else? Anything else? What are, yeah, and then hand the microphone down so you, you told us you're Jason yep. and your age, and then we can introduce the other five. Go ahead. Can Go ahead. Just say my name? Yeah, your name and your age. I am Ethan Kanowski, and I am nine years old. Okay. I am Michael Lima, and I am 10 years old. I'm Noah Benini, and I'm nine years old. I'm Stephen Danew, and I'm nine years old. I'm Jacob Erickson, and I'm nine years old. Okay. Very good. Nice job. First time you've been on television? Wait, wave, wait, wave wait, to the wait, camera. Wait, Say hi, wait, Enfield. Wait. Thank you so much for being here this evening. <laughs> You're streaming live on the internet. Okay. Um, and may we have roll call, please? Councilman Stokes. Here. Councilman Arnoni. Here. Councilman Bosco. Here. Councilman Crawley. Here. Councilman Edgar. Here. Councilman Hall. Here. Mayor Copen. Here. Councilman Kinsler. Here. Councilman Lee. Here. Councilman Mancini. Here. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Here. There's 11 members present, none are absent. Okay, for the fire evacuation announcement, I remind everyone in the audience that in the event the fire alarm sounds here at Town Hall, everyone must evacuate the building. Uh, the closest exit would be to the rear of council chambers and out to the front of town hall. But if you choose to go out the side door to your right or left, we ask that you then take the back set of stairs to the back of town hall. 
Minutes of the preceding meetings. We have two. First would be the special meeting of December 17, 2012. So moved. By Deputy Mayor Second. Nelson, seconded Second. by Councilman Kensler. Any discussion? Sensing none by show of hands. All those in favor? Those opposed? Any abstentions? All in favor? And the regular meeting of December 17, 2012. So moved. By Second. Councilman Mangini, seconded by Deputy Mayor Nelson. Discussion? Sensing none, show hands. All those in favor? Those opposed? Any abstentions? Unanimous. Next items are special guest section, and it was PAC 819 from Thompsonville. And gentlemen, again, thank you very much uh, being here with your families as well. And uh, you're always welcome to come back anytime and tell us about the good works that your PAC is doing in our community. Next would be public communications and petitions. If there's anyone in the audience wishing to address the council, I ask that you raise your hand. I'll call on you. You come up to the center table. Please state your name and address for the record. Uh, please keep your comments to no more than five minutes. I have a timer. I will time you. Once you hit 4.30, I will tell you uh, to please wrap up. And we ask that you please refrain from the use of personalities. Is there anyone in the audience wishing to address the council tonight? Anyone? Sensing none, we'll move to Councilman Communications and Petitions, Councilman Mangini. Thank you. Just a couple of... Um, <laughs> comments um, a couple of residents have been asking about the recycling magnet mr matt at, at your yeah. section maybe you can address that they're going it, out it, starting today okay thank you <laughs> and then the other um <clears throat> comment i was um handed a list of veterans names that apparently have been left off of the monument and i guess i should bring that to the attention of the veterans um, Which council the uh, World War II monument. It was brought to my attention with a list, so I should probably bring that forward to the Veterans Council. I know questions in the past, we've directed them to Suzanne's office, right, on the corrections, okay. and then you work with the veterans. Okay. To that, do that. Okay, that's what I'll do, thank you. And then finally, just a, um, a notice here, first readers, we're having um, our first fundraiser, uh, trivia night, February, second at Mount Carmel at 7 p.m. Anybody interested, um, please contact me or Judy or Brutzi or the members of KITE. Um, it's going to be a fun night, and it's to benefit um, the children. So I wanted to um, make sure we get that out there. Thank you. Thanks, Cindy. I've got Councilman Arnone, then Councilman Kensler. Thanks. Um, could you put up the gut drugs... Um, slide please at the uh, Enfield Police Department we have a a uh, medication drop-off box it's open 24 7 and uh, it's brought to you by the uh, town uh, police department the town and the Enfield together coalition um, 24 7 get rid of any of your uh, prescription drugs that you may have lying around that are no good at the house anymore uh, or any medication that you have uh, to dispose of it's a uh, you know, very important we keep these uh, out of the reach of children. Uh, that's what the Enfield to uh, Together Coalition does is uh, it's committed to reduce and uh, prevent alcohol and drug use by uh, Enfield youth. So if you can uh, go down to the police station anytime and get rid of your prescription drugs, keep them out of the hands of the kids, uh, that would be much appreciated. And uh, last two, we have uh, Zumba for a Cause uh, on December, uh, uh, sorry, January 12th, next Saturday. Um, they're going to have a fundraiser at Fermi High School uh, for 14-year-old Sam. Sam is uh, right now uh, undergoing aggressive treatment for brain cancer, and he needs some help. His family needs help as well as spread some awareness to the uh, illness. And uh, the tickets are $15, and that'll be uh, uh, from uh, 7 o'clock to 8.30, Fermi High School Gymnasium on uh, the 12th. And that's it, thank you. Thanks, Tom. Councilman Kensler. Yes, a um, <clears throat> couple things, uh, speaking of fundraisers. Um, we had a, a big event at the Elks on um, Saturday night, fundraiser for a local family whose uh, home had burned down on Thanksgiving. And want to throw a thank you out to the community at large who participated, donated, spent time, uh, as well as the uh, tremendous outpouring of local businesses. We, uh, we should be proud to live in Enfield. We have 
the, the greatest givers I've ever seen. Uh, we had over 300 people attend the event. Um, we had uh, some of the best food you'd ever want to ever see at a fundraiser and dozens of volunteers uh, to pull it off. It was just really, truly a great event. Um, on a side note, upcoming on uh, January 29th, the um, Enfield Clean Energy Expo <coughs> takes place at Enfield High School. Um, we had good participation last year. Great idea, get out there and uh, get some great energy saving tips and um, meet the vendors and there's gonna be lectures and uh, some great ideas. Come on out and make sure that you uh, take advantage of that. It's a great way to save yourself some money and it's good obviously for our environment and uh, the Clean Energy Committee puts that on every year and they, they do a really good job. That's it, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Uh, Councilman Bosco. Yeah, through to uh, Mayor, to the town manager, uh, Matt, the sledding or not the, the sledding and tobogganing hill. I just want to make sure we get it on a list to get cleaned. As uh, you know, I called you Christmas Day. They plowed the schools and they never plowed the hill, and all the people were trying to sled and they were getting stuck in the snow. So I just want to make sure that that gets on our our list to uh, plow during the storms. Done. Uh, good. Town Farm Road, the uh, the bike path, as you see, I chuckle a little bit. Well, what's happening is they go down it with a plow truck, and there's a berm all along the side of the guardrail. Well, we need to remove the snow from there, maybe with a snowblower, because what's happening is this morning I, I see the ice all on the, uh, the path because the snow was melting. It's pitched out to the road, and uh, we're going to have some treacherous conditions over there when that snow melts. And uh, I never got an answer for you on the corner of Deepwood in Weymouth, what we're going to do with the uh, snowplow blocking the uh, crosswalk. And that's it. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Councilman Crowley. Um, I also attended the fundraiser that uh, was uh, Saturday night. And I think uh, Councilman Kensler, you did a fantastic job. You were a big part of organizing that, and I, I want to say thank you because uh, the effort you put forward, it was a huge success, it appeared to be at least, and, and uh, we had a great time, so thank you. Um, Park and Rec, uh, I should say the Recreation Department, uh, they uh, started our first week of basketball this week. It was a tremendous success. Uh, a lot of kids involved. Uh, I'm sure uh, Assistant Manager McDinney can tell us the exact number, but it was a huge number of, of kids involved. I know there was about 130 just in the, uh, in the boys' division and of fifth and sixth graders, and, and, and I know the high school had a huge amount, and uh, the girls had a large amount too. So um, you guys did a great job. I just want to make sure the department knows that. Um, I know it's a, it's a big undertaking, a huge undertaking, and um, uh, we do appreciate it. Um, also, I just want to say hello to uh, everyone at my household and at uh, John Nikovic's house, big Irish fans. We know the, the Irish are going for the national title tonight, and uh, we plan on hopefully celebrating well into the uh, early morning of, of wee hours of the morning, I should say. So, uh, go Irish. Thanks, Pat. Sorry, my mic. Thanks, Pat. Uh, Councilman Hall. Um, we, we also enjoyed a, a, a great um, awards dinner for the Police Explorers on Friday evening. Uh, Scott, Cindy, Tom, and I uh, had the great pleasure of, of sharing that evening with a bunch of really amazing, amazing kids and their families. So um, I want to thank uh, Officer Petamonte for the invitation, and uh, it, was, it was a pretty, pretty wonderful program, and these kids really, really deserve our thanks. They put a lot of volunteer hours in for our community and the surrounding communities, and it was... Uh, it was a pretty amazing dinner, so uh, thank you again, and um, it was it was an, a great time. Also, I don't know if anybody saw the Connecticut Magazine for Legos. Uh, it was it was a huge promotion for Lego right on the front cover of the Connecticut Magazine. So, if anybody has the opportunity, uh, pick that up. I think it's it's a great article to promote a really wonderful business that gives a lot to our community, and that's in uh, this month's Connecticut Magazine. So just wanted to mention that, and that's all I have. Thanks, Carol. Councilman Lee? Yeah, just uh, one more uh, event to, to make note of. Um, 
and I alluded to it at our last meeting, the, um, the first robotics competition, um, the, the local team, which is uh, Buzz, it's, a, uh, it's at Fermi High School, but they do have a lot of Enfield High School students participate as well. They had their kickoff um, on Saturday, and it featured a, a pizza dinner uh, with a lot of the, the mentors and, and sponsors. And I, I just want to note United Technologies Aerospace has been a tremendous partner in the uh, first program. They're in their 18th year here in Enfield. Um, and uh, they continue to be one of the uh, most well-regarded uh, teams in the entire country. I think there's uh, upwards of 3,000 um, schools participating now in Enfield. Um, holds a chairman's award, which puts them kind of in the upper echelon of all the uh, organizations ac across the country. So for the next six weeks, um, the first robotics team will be working hundreds and probably thousands of, of uh, hours um, between the mentors and the students to pull together the, uh, the robot that enters the competitions come March. So um, I'll be supplying some slides from the team um, for the ETV programming, and uh, there'll probably be a little bit of a, a video montage from them over the course of the year so we can keep tabs on, on their build out and hopefully uh, route them on to uh, some more great victories down the road. So keep tabs on that, on that for you. Thank you, Bill. Anyone else? Deputy Mayor Nelson. Uh, just a couple things uh, through the mayor to the town manager. Uh, Matt, if you could have DPW, and I thought I was never going to have to say this again, go down Laughlin and patch some potholes, I'd appreciate it. And then I'd like to make a motion and suspend the rules and move A1, A2, B1, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J to miscellaneous and proceed to vote. Second. Motion by Deputy Mayor Nelson, seconded by Councilman Mangini to move the listed items to miscellaneous. Any discussion? Sensing none by show of hands. All those in favor? Those opposed? Any abstentions? Items have been moved to miscellaneous. And just last, I would say that I did attend the fundraiser also Saturday night, and it shows that this community pulls together. I mean, it, it's unbelievable, the turnout, everything. And I just want to thank all the residents of Enfield because we know we can count on you when we need to. Yeah. Thanks. Anyone else? Um, Besides what's already been said, um, just one other fundraiser that you may be interested in, and that's uh, Saturday, September 19th. It's the um, International Chili Society Chili Cookoff. September. No, January 19th. Did oh, I say September? September? I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am, I wishful like thinking about warmer <laughs> weather. January 19th, uh, the Chili Cookoff it uh, benefits the Sandy Hook Fire Department. And it's out at the Pleasant View Golf Center in Summers. Um, but there's a lot of roots here in Enfield with the Chili Society and, and the folks that are involved. And uh, it runs from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, there's a nominal fee, and all the proceeds go to benefit the Sandy Hook Fire Department. And uh, been to two of them last year out at this one will be indoors because it's winter time but it's a it's a great day great uh, couple hours to spend and you can taste uh chili uh from all different vendors and um just a fun time there'll be music and things such as that so it is saturday january 19th 11 a.m to 4 p.m at pleasant view golf center in summers which is right on route 83. okay other than that, um, we did get in, I forwarded out to everyone on the council the award letter that we received from the Department of Environmental Protection on the, the successful $43,000 grant for the, um, the vehicle. So um, for the clean diesel program vehicle. So, okay. That's it for councilman communications. So the next item on the agenda would be town manager's report and communications. Good evening. Good evening. 700 plus is the number of kids that we have in the basketball program. And uh, under the advice of uh, legal counsel, that will end my, uh, my <laughs> comments for this evening. Everyone is Irish today. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Any questions for Matt? No. 
Sensing none, <laughs> to a real Irishman, our <laughs> town attorney, Kevin Deneen. Uh, and this is one of the few occasions in which an attorney will take his own advice, and I will be... <laughs> Uh, and go Notre Dame, where my cousin Patrick is a, a professor out there, uh, having recently moved, and uh, we'll, hopefully we're watching them to victory tonight, too. Hopefully. Big football game in, a, in an hour, so. All right. Any questions for Kevin? <coughs> Thank you, Kevin. Uh, reports of special committees of the council. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Um, the building committee, or high school um, renovation building committee met several times. We meet every week. Uh, we're doing special meetings on Saturday. They did get 11 people who responded. Um, Saturday we met and they narrowed it down to four. Um, architects, yeah. Uh, um, and they narrowed it down to four and now I guess the next step is gonna be a uh, interview of the companies. They'll send them out requirements of what they want and stuff like that to bring it forward. Um, but I, I mean, it's moving along, it's moving fast. Uh, very well working committee, uh, a lot of different opinions there, a lot of strong opinions, and I think that's going to help build a great high school. So uh, I'm going to keep it short, but that's about it for now, and I'll give you a better update next week. Great. Thanks, Ken. Pat, any update on, from your side on the thing? Same? Irish. Same? Okay. <laughs> uh, Councilman Mangini. Thank you. Just a brief report on CCM. Uh, we did meet, we've got another one coming up, but we had a guest speaker, Matt McCleary, uh, Deputy Commissioner, Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. We talked about um, waste transformation. Um, in addition, we were um, briefed about the government, um, the Governor's Task Force on DEEP. Um, not to get into the details, but they're looking at a unit-based pay as you go plan. Talked about gun laws. Which, you know, is something that the state is looking to address. Um, 2000, how, uh, 2013 legislative priorities include education, finance reform, um, enacting mandates reform, enhancing the STEEP program uh, by increasing the investments in the funding and economic development, and making permanent the MME, the Manufacturing Machinery and Equipment Program grants. Um, CCM did send a letter to OPM Ben Barnes, uh, stating that the governor had rescinded his package <clears throat> containing $4.7 million in cuts to the state uh, funding, uh, which aids municipalities. He quoted General Statute 4-85E, specifically exempts aids to municipalities, but the governor's rescission authority, Barnes argued the cuts were not to the municipal aid, and that's where the discrepancy lies. So we'll be taking that back up at the end of the month. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, Councilman Stokes. Uh, just real briefly, the uh, new committee, uh, the security, uh, school security committee, uh, joint committee between ourselves and the board ed. We had our first meeting last uh, Wednesday. Uh, we got things rolling along. Uh, primarily, the meeting is held in executive session, so I can't go into a lot of the details. Uh, but our plan is to bring a, uh, a recommendations uh, to the council and board of ed sometime in mid-February, no later than the end of February, so that we can have a uh, long, you know, short-term and long-term uh, plans for uh, making sure our schools are safe. They are safe now. We don't want anybody to worry about that. There are a lot of measures that are being taken place, some you don't talk about because you don't want them made public. But at the same time, we're working on overall strategies. Uh, we're meeting every Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock uh, through the next two months to complete this. And if the council would like to have a detailed update, benchmarks where we are at each meeting, I'd be happy to do that in executive session, maybe at the next meeting, so I can share with you those things. So that's it. Thank you, Greg. Any other reports of special committees? And we will move to old business. And I know we've got a couple of uh, reappointment uh, items. Um, those that are highlighted, I think the first one is number seven. Is there a motion to remove item seven from the table? So moved. By Deputy Mayor Nelson, seconded by Second. Councilman Kensler. No, All the. We're not doing five. Mm, doing no, we're not doing five. Okay. Um, all those in favor of removing the item from the table? Those opposed? Any abstentions? Item's been removed from the table. Is there a nomination? I'd like to make a motion to uh, nominate Rob Heron um, for the North Central Health District. I think he'll be a good um, fit. Uh, we all know the Health District has had um, 
many disagreements with the towns in the last five or six years, and the town of Enfield has done pretty well on um, setting the ground rules of where we want to be, replacing committee members, and having a diverse group of people there from all different aspects of what the health district does. And he um, is involved in the restaurants and stuff like that, so I think he'll be a good fit and have a lot of input to help continue the health department on their road to recovery, as I'll call it. So, Rob Heron. Motion by Deputy Mayor Nelson, seconded by Councilman Kensler. Motion to close nominations. By Deputy Mayor Nelson, Second. seconded by Councilman Mangini. All those in favor of closing nominations? Those opposed? Any abstentions? Nominations are closed. Any discussion? Sensing none, roll call, please. Councilman Stokes? Four. Councilman Arnone? Four. Councilman Bosco? Four. Councilman Crowley? Rob Hearing? <clears throat> Councilman Edgar? Four. Councilman Hall? <clears throat> Robert Heron? Mayor Copen. Robert Heron. Councilman Kinsler. Robert Heron. Councilman Lee. Robert Heron. Councilman Mangini. Robert Heron. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Robert Heron. There's 11 in favor, none against, no abstentions. Next item would be uh, number 13 is our motion to remove the item from the table. Motion. By Councilman Hall. Second. Seconded by Councilman Stokes. All those in favor of removing the item from the table? Those opposed? Any abstentions? Items been removed from the table. Is there a nomination? Carol? Uh, I'd like to nominate Linda DeGray uh, to the uh, North Central Health Department. Linda's um, got quite an extensive um, uh, application here and is a really well qualified applicant. Um, she has a, a master's degree in, in uh, in the health field, which is is really uh, quite a, a, an, a resume, I'd like to share it with people if they'd like to see it. So it's it's pretty amazing, and I think she'd be a great addition to the group. So, motion by Councilman Hall. Is there a second? Second. Ca by Councilman Stokes. Is there further nominations or a motion to close nominations? Motion close. By Councilman Hall to close nominations. Is there a second by Councilman Lee? All those in favor of closing nominations by a show of hands. Those opposed? Any abstentions? Nominations are closed. Any discussion? Discussion. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Um, as I said with the last appointment, uh, there, as a liaison to the health board, there are quite a few people in the health field that sit on the board throughout all the different communities. One thing the board is lacking is somebody who's in the field as far as the sanitary code, uh, septic systems, well waters, um, stuff like that. There is actually no representation there. So um, they're very strong at what they do with the health part of the health, but there's no argument whatsoever. But I would ask that we continue on what we um, were striving to do, and that's to put a variety of people from different aspects of what the health district do on this board. By putting another person involved in the health field, we're still leaving out a big part and we're trying to streamline development in this town. And if we don't have somebody who's aware of, you know, the the um, sanitary issues and uh, uh, speeding up the process, we're always going to hit a brick wall when we go to the health board. So I would ask that we retable this issue until we can go back to our caucuses and try to find somebody who fits that. And the next position that comes up, you know, if a nurse uh, moves to another town or something like that, uh, Linda absolutely would make a great fit under that particular area. There's no argument. She's a great person. I agree with that. But I think we need to have, you know, a wider range of people on the committee. So I'm going to ask that we table this issue for now. Is that a motion? Yes, sir. Second? Second, no, oh. if you second, it's non-debatable. If you I'll want second. a continued discussion, I'll second. I'll second it. guys want to stifle debate again. Stifle. You can't if you not if this tables. You can't ask a question. Just like last meeting. Is there a motion? Is there a second to table? Sensing none, the motion doesn't. Uh, the motion second. isn't carried. Did. You want to, do you want to, if you second it, you cut off debate? No, I don't want to cut off anything. So, there, so this, the motion is not seconded. Is there further debate? 
I would like to discuss this. Linda DeGray, as Councilman Hall has stated, has a very good resume. And as I told people uh, within my caucus, um, there is a position uh, currently held by a resident who has moved to Windsor Locks. I'm going to work with the Windsor Locks selectmen to see if that person um, can start to represent Windsor Locks instead, which would open up another position on, on the health board. Um, I support Linda. I think uh, she would be a good addition. She brings, uh, she's got the, a small business owner, a dean, a former dean of a college, and um, a, a master's in public health. And uh, so I think she would be a big asset. And, I, and as I told you, Ken, I'm, I'm, we're committed to work to try to find someone to fill that contractor role. But right now, we haven't had anyone apply. And that's been uh, a desire of ours for months, if not years, and people haven't stepped forward. So I would ask people to support this nomination. Councilman Bosco. Scott, I can't agree with you I mean, anymore. I mean, she is a good fit, but it is very important that we do find somebody that uh, fits the contractor or the construction uh, person uh, in there. And I think that we should probably go out and start looking at this point for somebody uh, that has that type of experience or something so we can uh, accelerate this because it, it really is necessary that we have a different set of eyes on here and the more different people we have the better it's going to go and I, and I have no problem with Linda but I really think we need a contractor in there too further discussion I, councilman I, Mangini the only, the only question I have respectfully I'd like to question I, I don't know this person from the hole in the wall I'd like an opportunity maybe, you know, to speak with the person directly, but um, in what Ken is bringing forward, do we have to fill this tonight? Do we have to make this particular appointment tonight? Maybe we need to. I'd like to see everyone support a person if we could. I, I don't know if it's that urgent that we support or we bring it forward tonight. Uh, no appointment needs to be made tonight. So that's up. It's the will of the council whether they want to make the appointment. That can be said for any appointment that we okay. make. Further discussion? So now everybody's had the discussion. I'd like to make a motion to table this matter for people to interview her or whatever, or maybe us to go back to our caucuses and find a particular contract. So, yes, I have a motion on the table, or motion on the table to table. Is there a second? Sensing second. seconded by Councilman Kensler. Motion is non-debatable by a show of hands. All those in favor of tabling, please raise your hand. One, two, three, four. Fails. Any further discussion? Yes, questions. Councilman Crowley. Since I missed the motion, <laughs> and this is if if your name's brought up in, in oh my God. I'm sorry. If the name is brought up and, and we table it, we could still bring her name back forward for the same position, Kane. I mean, it's not like we're voting on her if we table it, correct? Correct. We're not voting no on her either. That's what I'm saying. You're not voting no on correct. her. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. That's, what, that's the question I had. Thank you. Okay. The motion to table failed. Is there any further discussion? Sensing none, roll call, please. Councilman Stokes. Linda DeGray. Councilman Arnone. Four. Councilman Bosco. Four. Councilman Crawley. Four. Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Linda DeGray. Mayor Copen. Linda DeGray. Councilman Kinsler. Four. Councilman Lee. Four. Councilman Mangini. Four. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Against. There's 10 in favor, one against, no abstentions. Next item, I believe, would be item 17. Is there a motion to remove item 17 from the table? Councilman Mangini. Thank you. Seconded by to remove from the table. Second. By Deputy Mayor Nelson. All those in favor of removing item 17 from the table. Those opposed, item 17 has been removed. Councilman Mangini for a nomination. I'd like to bring forward the name of Patricia Lenahan. Is there a second? Second. second. Uh, motioned and seconded by Councilman Crowley. Is there further nominations or a motion to close? Motion to close. By Deputy Mayor Nelson. Second. Seconded by Councilman Hall to close nominations. All those in favor? Those opposed? Any abstentions? Nominations are closed. Any discussion? Red? 
Yes, uh, Your Honor, quickly, she's an alternate now, and yes. we're moving her to a regular. Correct. Any further discussion? Sensing none, roll call, please. Councilman Stokes? Four. Councilman Arnone? Four. Councilman Bosco? Four. Councilman Crawley? Patricia Linehan? Councilman Edgar? Four. Councilman Hall? Patricia Linehan? Mayor Copen? Patricia Linehan? Councilman Kinsler? Uh, Patricia Linehan? Councilman Lee? Patricia Linehan? Councilman Mangini? Patricia Linehan. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Patricia Linehan. Oh, it's Priscilla. Sorry, everyone. It's Priscilla Linehan. Oh. That's what everyone. <laughs> Matt was. That's my. So those who said four were correct, but it's Priscilla. <laughs> Priscilla you, you just, Linehan. You just don't know her as well as we do. That's right. <laughs> Sorry about that, Priscilla. Uh, did you get through all a roll call? I apologize I, I did. for it. There was 11 in favor, not okay. against Mr. Of Priscilla and Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I believe item 18 wants to be removed from the table by Councilman Mangini, Second. seconded by Deputy Mayor Nelson. All those in favor removing item 18 from the table? Those opposed? Item 18 is removed. I'd like to reappoint Mr. Anthony Messina. Thank you. By uh, Councilman Mangini, seconded by Councilman Arnone. A motion to close nominations. By Deputy Second. Mayor Nelson, seconded by Councilman Kensler to co close nominations. All those in favor? Those opposed? Nominations are closed. Any discussion? Sensing none, roll call, please. Councilman Stokes? Four. Councilman Arnone? Four. Councilman Bosco? Four. Councilman Crowley? Anthony Messina? Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Anthony Messina. Mayor Copen. Anthony Messina. Councilman Kinsler. Anthony Messina. Councilman Lee. Anthony Messina. Councilman Mancini. Anthony Messina. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Anthony Messina. It's 11 in favor, none against, no abstentions. And I believe number 19, Councilman Mangini. Yes, I'd like to bring forward the name of Rudolph Carrasco. Nope. Uh, please make a motion to remove the item from the table. I'm sorry, the motion to remove from the table. Second. Second. By uh, motion by Councilman Mancini, seconded by Deputy Mayor Nelson. All those in favor, removing the item from the table. Those opposed? Item has been removed. Nomination? I'd like to bring forward the name of Mr. Rudolph Carrasca for reappointment to the Board of Assessment Appeals. Second. Motion by Councilman Mangini, seconded by Councilman Crowley. Motion to close nominations. By second. Deputy Mayor Nelson, seconded by Councilman Crowley. All those in favor of closing nominations? Those opposed, any abstentions, nominations are closed. Any discussion? Any discussion? Um, I just want to personally, um, I know it was me at the last meeting that asked for uh, one more week and or one more meeting. I did have a very good conversation with Mr. Carrasca, uh, with Mr. Tyler and Mr. Woods. Um, and so I appreciate the council giving me that, that opportunity to have the, uh, the discussions. Um, Councilman Hall. I also would like to thank Chairman Carrasca for reaching out and calling me. I appreciate the phone call. It was a very lovely conversation, so thank you. Any further discussion? Councilman Stokes. Uh, I'll jump on here. I uh, served with Rudy on the Assessment Appeals Board and, uh, and uh, back about 30, 40 years ago. And so, uh, but I uh, want to uh, welcome him back and thank him for his service and there. Okay. Any further discussion? Deputy Mayor Nelson. I, I'm just going to say I believe you've served over 20 years on this board. It's, it's not a friendly board because everybody who comes in front of you wants something, and when you have to say no, you're not going to make them happy. And I believe out of 20 years, uh, there was only one person who actually made a comment about it. Other than that, you guys have done a phenomenal job. And for that one, uh, I just you can't beat that. I mean, that's outstanding. Congratulations, and you have my full support. Thank you. Councilman Mangini. I just wanted to um, comment that your resume is very impressive. Uh, you've been on this board for a long time, and we're very fortunate to have your years of service. Thank you. Councilman Kensler. Yeah, and you know, the job you guys do, it's kind of like being a dentist. You know, nobody wants to come in and see you. <laughs> so you really do a great job, and I want to thank you. Councilman Bosco. Rudy, I've been in front of you before. You haven't made me happy a lot of times, but you always treated us fair and with respect. And um, I just want to thank you for your, your work and the years of service. Any further discussion? Sensing none, roll call, please. Councilman Stokes. Rudy Carrasco. Councilman Arnone. Four. 
Councilman Bosco. Rudy. Councilman Crowley. In, in the way of Notre Dame, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Rudy Carrasco. Mayor Copen. Rudy Carrasco. Councilman Kinsler. Patricia, I mean uh, Rudy Carrasco. <laughs> Councilman Lee. Mr. Carrasco. Councilman Mangini. Rudolph Carrasco. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Rudy Carrasco. There's 11 in favor, none against, no extensions. Congratulations, Priscilla. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any further appointments for the council under old business? Any appointments, town manager, old business? Item C and D remain on the table. Councilman Lee, did you want to say anything about item E? Is there a motion to remove item E from the table? So moved. By Deputy Second. Mayor Nelson, seconded by Councilman Stokes. All those in favor? Those opposed? Any abstentions? He promised he'll keep this really short. Councilman Lee? We met, Thank we talked all. about it. We're going to meet again. Motion uh, table. I'll second that. No, 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 no. Come on. We're joking, we're joking. Um, I, from at the last meeting, we uh, we we heard a, a lot of discussion here at the council, and uh, there were some very good points made about the way that the proposed ordinance would be enacted and um, and managed. Um, so we continue to work with staff to kind of understand that process, and we want to make sure that that whatever ordinance gets it back in front of us, uh, it can be one that is. Um, uh, committed by staff to be um, dealt with, you know, with consistency and fairness. And uh, so we're going to meet again with staff at the end of February. Hope to have um, the ordinance back in front of the council in early March. Councilman Mangini. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, um, Councilman Lee. What I have to say is not going to be popular. I'm going to say it because I'm very concerned when, when and how and at what point council begins to encroach upon Planning and Zoning Commission, Inland Wetlands Commission, for example. I'm happy that it's going back to the drawing boards and that something will come back to council for a review. That's, that's great. Because at this point in time, I don't know what it is we're voting for, against, or by, or with. So to that note, please, when you do bring something back, Please make it be concise and specific and something more palatable. Thank you. Is that to me? I think so. Um, well, I, as the councilman knows, um, the ordinance that we considered was the direct request of the Planning and Zoning Commission. This is not uh, an initiative that council took upon itself to generate. Um, so in, in the uh, last round of discussion, it became clear, at least to those on the Development Services Commission, and I think staff, if, I'm not, if I can speak for them, that what the commission had requested um, is what the ordinance that we looked at um, and considered. But in the application of the ordinance and the way that it was going to be managed and the policy that it was going to create for employees to follow, that was not consistent with what the intent of the co planning commission was. So knowing that they have to sign off on what the zoning enforcement officer does, and we have to sign off on the ordinance, it was felt that the best thing to do is re-engage the commission to restate precisely they what they want. So. It's not something that the council is taking lightly or, or going off and creating on its own. Um, we maintain that we are still following some advice coming to us from our land use boards, and um, that has to make its way back to us with their endorsement. So that's all we're waiting for is to make sure that the ordinance matches the policies that the town can enforce, and that is all. Thank you, Bill. Any further questions? Then is there a motion to retable? So moved. By uh, Councilman Lee, seconded by Councilman Hall. All those in favor? By show of hands, those opposed. Item has been retabled. We know I like to table. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't call on you. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, new business appointments town manager remains on the table. 
Items for discussion, all items for discussion have been moved to miscellaneous. So the first item for miscellaneous would be the consent agenda. Is there a motion to adopt the consent agenda? So moved. By seconded. Deputy Mayor Nelson, seconded by Councilman Mangini. Any discussion? Sensing none by a show of hands, all those in favor of the consent agenda. Those opposed, any abstentions? Unanimous. Next, appointments, town council appointed board of education, vacancy exists to the resignation of Charles Johnson III, vice chairman, Republican, replacement would be until July, I'm sorry, July, November 1st, 2013. Action. I have to make a motion, Mr. Okay, I'd like to make a motion too that we appoint Tom Sherrard to the Board of Education. Second. Motion, thank you. Motion by Councilman Stokes, seconded by Councilman Kensler. Any further nominations? Motion, there, motion to close nominations. By Deputy Second. Mayor Nelson, seconded by Councilman Crowley. All those in favor of closing nominations? Those opposed? Nominations are closed. Any discussion? Does anybody know who this gentleman is? Yeah. Uh, C Councilman Stokes. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, that I'm glad that uh, uh, a couple of things. Number one, that the council was able to move uh, quickly on this because as the Board of Education has some serious business ahead of them and they need all nine members to be present in their seats uh, <coughs> during these times. And so I think that's great for us. And I want to thank Mr. Charles Johnson for his service on the, the Board of Education. I served with him for a number of years. But also I want to mention about Tom. I, uh, I served with Tom uh, on the Board of Education and um, he's a hardworking uh, individual. Uh, he is uh, uh, bright, he understands the finances of the Board of Education. Um, and uh, what's interesting about this is that as we were looking and as we talked to some, some great candidates, we had a number of folks that applied and stuff for this, uh, there was a tremendous bipartisan support from board members on Tom being uh, brought back on. And uh, that goes to his credit and it goes to the continuity uh, of the Board of Education who serves our town. Uh, it's, one, it's one of these good things that when we all can agree that uh, someone is a perfect fit and has the character uh, that, he, that he does and, and ready to get to work right away. So I want to compliment uh, that because, you know, when you have folks on both sides of the aisle saying this is the one that would be best, uh, I think it's a compliment. So congratulations, Tom. Thank you, Greg. Uh, Councilman Kensler. Uh, yeah, Greg took a little bit of the air out of my wind, out of my sails there. But uh, yeah, the, the process that um, I think that's impossible. The, the process that we went through. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. <laughs> the process that we went through. Uh, Why do you think I wanted to go first? I, never I, wanted, had to, I wanted to go first because no one wants to follow you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to uh, just mention that the thank you everybody. I just wanted to mention that the process uh, that people should know out there in the public the um, uh, the applications that came in, the people that wanted to do this, the people that we interviewed, um, and the whole process that we took was not taken lightly and done with the most due diligence I've seen since I've been on the council, and it was really um, very very thorough. And all of the candidates that actually came before us um, had tremendous uh, attributes, talents, uh, some stronger in others in other areas, and it took several hours of talking through and talking to these people um, to pick the best of the best. So uh, the ones that did not, that were not selected, um, were, are all future players in our, uh, in our town's uh, government and committees and things like that, and I, I want to thank you uh, for coming. Um, Congratulations, Tom. Thank you, Councilman Kensler. Uh, Deputy Mayor Nelson. I, I, along <coughs> with the process, I just want to uh, thank the Board of Education for their input because that's who I weighed in on. Uh, you guys spoke very highly of Tom. You've worked with him in the past. You chose to work with him again. Um, and that's where my decision lied. I don't have to work with him. You do. I've seen the way he works. I have no problem with it. But ultimately, I felt you guys had the final say, and I think all of us agreed up here, and uh, I think you made a good choice. Any further discussion? <laughs> Quickly, Tom, uh, thank you for your commitment to continue your service to our town, and I look forward to supporting you. Roll call, please. Councilman Stokes. Mr. Tom Serrard. Councilman Arnone. Four. Councilman Bosco. Tom Serrard. Councilman Crawley. Tom Serrard. Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Tom Serrard. Mayor Copen. Tom Serrard. Councilman Kinsler. Tom Serrard. Councilman Lee. Tom Serrard. 
Councilman Mancini. Tom Serrard. And Deputy Mayor Nelson. Thomas Serrard. There's 11 in favor, none against, and no abstentions. Congratulations. That's right. <laughs> yeah, get back to work. <laughs> um, next item is a discussion resolution request for transfer of funds for youth services $34,803. So Resolve that in accordance with Chapter 6, Section 8 of the Town Charter, the following transfer is hereby made to youth services, other professional services, 3484 advertising, 6600 copying and reproduction, 596 travel, 17036 Office supplies 500, materials and supplies 5,255, food 1,332, from youth services full time salaries 26,853, stipend 805, health and health medical 5,034, life insurance 204, social security FICA 1,649, Medicare 258, certified the funds are available. Lynn any director of finance. So moved. By Second. Councilman Hall, seconded by Councilman Kensler. Discussion. Sensing none, roll call please. Councilman Stokes. Four. Councilman Arnone. Four. Councilman Bosco is out. Councilman Crawley. Four. Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Four. Mayor Copen. Four. Councilman Kinsler. Four. Councilman Lee. Four. Councilman Mangini. Four. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Four. There's 10 in favor, none against, no abstentions. Next item, discussion resolution. Resolution authorizing the town manager to enter into an agreement with the Internal Revenue Service. Resolved that the town manager, Matthew W. Coppler, is authorized to enter into and amend contractual instruments in the name and on behalf of the town of Enfield with the Internal Revenue Service to participate in the IRS e-file program as part of the IRS Volunteer Income Tax Assistant Program. By Councilman Hall, seconded. Second. By Councilman Mangini, discussion, Councilman Kensler. Um, I'm going to uh, support this today, and uh, even though the, um, the fact that we're going to have people that take our money, training our people on how to pay the money, just didn't really sit well with me. I'd rather have it be done in the private sector or through a grant with the state, but um, being that there's no one else coming up to the plate to do this, it's, it's, it's a good program if it works well, and uh, I will be supporting it. Thank you, Tom. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Uh, I will not be supporting this. I haven't supported it since it uh, began in the town. Uh, I believe H&R Block will not charge you. They take it right out of your refund, so it doesn't cost you anything. And this is private sector jobs that we are now taking away from people. Um, and I mean, if you want money back from the IRS, you need to invest a little bit to make sure you get it done right. So I cannot support it. Councilman Mangini. I'm going to respectfully disagree with our deputy mayor. This is a very valuable program, and it benefits people that absolutely do not have the funds to be able to pay an IRS or any other tax preparer. So I most definitely will be supporting this. Thank you. Any further discussion? Sensing none, roll call, please. Councilman Stokes. Four. Councilman Arnone. Four. Councilman Bosco. Against. Councilman Crawley. Four. Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Four. Mayor Copen. Four. Councilman Kinsler. Four. Councilman Lee. Four. Councilman Manchin. Four. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Against. There's nine in favor, two against, no abstentions. Next item is a discussion resolution, resolution authorizing the town manager to enter into an agreement with the State of Connecticut Board of Regents for higher education. Resolved that the town manager, Matthew W. Coppola, is authorized to enter into and amend contractual instruments in the name and on behalf of the town of Enfield with the State of Connecticut Board of Regents for Higher Education for as Nuntuck Community College to provide fixed route bus services to enrolled students. So moved. Second. By Councilman Mangini, seconded by Councilman Hall. Discussion. Sensing none, roll call, please. Councilman Stokes. Four. Councilman Arnone. Four. Councilman Bosco. Four. Councilman Crawley. Four. Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Four. Mayor Copen. Four. Councilman Kinsler. Four. Councilman Lee. Four. Councilman Mangini. Four. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Four. There's 11 in favor, none against, no abstentions. Next item, res discussion resolution, resolution to settle property tax appeal for high-tech conversions. 
Resolve that the Enfield Town Council does hereby authorize the town attorney Kevin M. Deneen or his designee to settle the outstanding tax assessment appeal in the following action. High Tech Conversions Incorporated versus Town of Enfield, docket number HHB-CV-12-6016327 S. The combined fair market value of both properties to be $440,000 and assessed value to be $308,000. So by Councilman Second. Mangini, seconded by Deputy Mayor Nelson. Discussion? Sensing none, roll call please. Councilman Stokes? Four. Councilman Arnone? Four. Councilman Bosco? Four. Councilman Crawley? Four. Councilman Edgar? Four. Councilman Hall? Four. Mayor Copen? Four. Councilman Kinsler? Four. Councilman Lee? Four. Councilman Mangini? Four. Deputy Mayor Nelson? Four. So 11 in favor, none against, no abstentions. Next item, discussion resolution. Resolution to settle pending property tax appeal for Connecticut CVS Pharmacy. Resolved that the Enfield Town Council does hereby authorize the town attorney, Kevin M. Deneen, or his designee, to settle the outstanding tax assessment appeal in the following action. Connecticut CVS Pharmacy LLC et al. versus Town of Enfield, docket number HHB-CV-12-6016319 S. The fair market value of the property to be $2,660,000 and assessed value to be $1,862,000. So moved. Second. By Councilman Mangini, seconded by Deputy Mayor Nelson. Seconded. Discussion? Sensing none, roll call please. Councilman Stokes. Four. Councilman Arnone. Four. Councilman Bosco. Four. Councilman Crawley. Four. Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Four. Mayor Copen. Four. Councilman Kinsler. Four. Councilman Lee. Against. Councilman Mangini. Four. And Deputy Mayor Nelson. I also am against. We have nine in favor, two against, and no abstentions. Next item, discussion resolution. Resolution to settle pending property tax appeal. Stop and shop supermarket company. Resolved that the Enfield Town Council does hereby authorize the town attorney, Kevin M. Deneen, or his designee to settle the outstanding tax assessment appeal entitled Stop and Shop Supermarket Company et al. versus Town of Enfield, docket number HHB-CV-12-6016319 S. Resolved that the fair market value of the subject property known as 54 Hazard Avenue shall be $15,800,000 and assessed value shall be $11,060,000 and resolved that the 10% penalty added to the assessed value of the subject property on the grand list of October 1st, 2011 is waived. So moved. By Councilman Mangini, seconded by? Second. Councilman Hall, discussion. Deputy Mayor Nelson. What was the 10% penalty for? There's a requirement under the statutes, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, the personal property uh, returns be formed, or actually the income uh, forms be sent to us on forms supplied by the assessor. In this case, we had sent them out, the town had sent them out to the wrong address. There was just recently a case that came down out of the uh, tax administrative case of, uh, from the town of Reading saying if you don't supply them with the forms, they're not required to respond to it and therefore you can't impose the 10%. So it wasn't because they were late? No, it was a okay. mistake on all right. side. That's all. Any further discussion? Sensing none, roll call please. Councilman Stokes? Four. Councilman Arnone? Four. Councilman Bosco? Four. Councilman Crawley? Four. Councilman Edgar? Four. Councilman Hall? Four. Mayor Copen? Four. Councilman Kinsler? Four. Councilman Lee? Four. Councilman Mangini? Four. Deputy Mayor Nelson? Four. 11 in favor, none against, no abstentions. And uh, last item, discussion resolution. Resolution authorizing the town manager to enter into an agreement with the State of Connecticut Department of Transportation. Resolved that the town manager, Matthew W. Coppler, is authorized to enter into and amend contractual instruments in the name and on behalf of the town of Enfield with the State of Connecticut Department of Transportation for the Master Municipal Agreement for Construction Project. So moved. Second. By Councilman Lee, seconded by Councilman Hall. Discussion? That, thank you for sending along the uh, templates this afternoon. It's quite a weighty document in of itself. Seven megs. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion? Sensing none, roll call, please. <laughs> Councilman Stokes? Four. Councilman Arnone? Four. Councilman Bosco? Four. Councilman Crowley? Four. 
Councilman Edgar. Four. Councilman Hall. Four. Mayor Copen. Four. Councilman Kinsler. Four. Councilman Lee. Four. Councilman Mangini. Four. Deputy Mayor Nelson. Four. It's 11 in favor, none against, no abstentions. That completes miscellaneous. Next item on the agenda is public communications. Anyone in the audience wishing to address the council? Sensing none, councilman communications. Motion to adjourn. By Second. Deputy Mayor Nelson, seconded by Councilman Mangini. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Good night. Go Irish. Yes. <laughs>